Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at the AWS root user. Uh, and this gets confusing because there's an AWS account, root user, and regular user. So let's distinguish what those three things are. So here we have an AWS account, and the account which holds all the AWS resources, including the different types of users. Then you have the root user. This is a special account with full access that cannot be deleted. And then you have just a user, and this is a user for common tasks that is assigned permissions. So just understand that sometimes people say AWS account, they're actually referring to the user. And sometimes they, when they're saying AWS account, they're actually referring to the AWS account that holds the users. I know it's confusing, it's just, it's based on what people decide the context is when they're speaking. So the AWS account root user is a special user who's created at the time of the AWS account creation. And they can do, a, they have a lot of conditions around them. So the root user account uses an email and password to log in as opposed to the regular user who's going to provide their account ID, alias, username, and password. The root user account cannot be deleted. The root user account has full permissions to the account and its permissions and cannot be limited. And when we say it cannot be limited, we're saying that if you take an IAM policy to explicitly deny the root user access to resources, it's not something you can do. However, you can do it in the case of AWS organizations with service control policies, because a service control policy applies to a bunch of accounts. So it just it's one level above. And so that is a way of limiting root users, but generally you can't limit them within their own account. Uh, there can only be one root user uh, per AWS account. The root user is instead for very spe specific and specialized tasks that are infrequently or rarely performed. And there's a big list and we'll get into that here in a moment. And the AWS root uh, account should uh, not be used for daily or common tasks. It's strongly recommended to never use the root user's access keys because you can generate those and use them. It's strongly recommended to turn on MFA for the root user and AWS will bug you to no ends to tell you to turn it on. So let's talk about the uh, tasks that you should be performing with a root user and only the root user can perform. So changing your account settings, so this includes account name, email address, root user password, root user access keys, other account settings such as contact information, payment currency preference, regions do not require the root user credentials. So not everything. Um, restore IM user permissions. So if there's an I, IM Admin, so it's just a user that has admin access who actually revokes their own permissions. You can sign into the root user to edit policies and restore those permissions. Um, so you can also activate IAM access to the billing and cost management console. You can view certain tax invoices. You can close your AWS account. You can change or cancel your AWS support plan. Register as a seller in the reserved instance marketplace. Enable MFA uh, delete on S3 buckets edit or delete an uh, Amazon S3 bucket policy that includes an invalid VPC ID or VPC endpoint ID, sign up for GovCloud. And something that's not in here, which this, I took this from the documentation, but uh, you can use the AWS uh, account user to create the organization. You can't create that with any other user. So, um, you know, the ones I highlighted in red are very likely to show up in your exam and that's uh, why I highlighted them there for you, but there you go.